November 19th, 1860. A most gloomy day in Wall Street. Everything at a deadlock. First class paper not negotiable. Stocks falling. George Templeton Strong. In New York, emotions were no less explosive, and George Templeton Strong, a conservative lawyer who distrusted Lincoln, began to keep track of events in his diary. The bird of our country is a debilitated chicken disguised in eagle feathers. We have never been a nation. We are only an aggregate of communities ready to fall apart at the first serious shock. All the indications are that this treasonable inflammation, secessionitis, keeps on making steady progress, week by week. If disunion becomes an established fact, we have one consolation. The self-amputated members were diseased beyond immediate cure, and their virus will infect our system no longer. George Templeton Strong. April 13th. So civil war is inaugurated at last. God defend the right. April 15th, events multiply. The president is out with a proclamation calling for 75,000 volunteers. It is said 200,000 more will be called within a few days. Blacks who tried to sign up were turned away. April 19th, there has been a serious disturbance in Baltimore. Regiments from Massachusetts assailed by a mob that was repulsed by shot and steel. It's a notable coincidence that the first blood in this great struggle is drawn by Massachusetts men on the anniversary of Lexington. Today will be known as Black Monday. We are utterly and disgracefully routed, beaten, whipped by secessionists. George Templeton Strong. December 31st, poor old 1861 just going. It has been a gloomy year of trouble and disaster. I should be glad of its departure were it not that 1862 is likely to be no better. George Templeton Strong. Of all detestable places, Washington is the first. Crowd, heat, bad quarters, bad fare, bad smells, mosquitoes and a plague of flies transcending everything within my experience. Beezlebub surely reigns here, and Willard's Hotel is his temple. George Templeton Strong. There has been a great battle indeed in the Southwest, a conflict of two days, closely fought and with varying fortune and by great armies. It seems entitled to a place among the first-class battles of history. George Templeton Strong. Only the damnedest of damned abolitionists dreamed of such things a year ago. John Brown's soul is marching on with the people after it. George Templeton Strong. George Templeton Strong's wife, Ellie, went south to serve on a hospital ship too. Ellie's tact Sense, good nature, and energy conquered the USA surgeon in charge at once and coerced all his official dignity into hearty, grateful cooperation in the care of his cargo of 500 cases, mostly bad ones. I've never given her credit for tithe of the enterprise, pluck, discretion, and force of character she has shown. God bless her. I found for my substitute a big Dutch a boy of 20 or thereabouts, for the moderate consideration of $1,100, my alter ego could make a good soldier if he tried. Gave him my address and told him to write to me if he found himself in the hospital or in trouble, and that I would try to do what I properly could to help him. George Templeton Strong. July 14th, fire bells clanking as they have clanked at intervals throughout the evening. Many details come in of yesterday's brutal, cowardly ruffianism and plunder. Shops were cleaned out, and black men hanged in Carmine Street for no offense but that of negritude. George Templeton Strong.
It is not too much to say that if this Massachusetts 54th had faltered when this trial came, 200,000 troops, for whom it was a pioneer, would never have been put into the field. But it did not falter. It made Fort Wagner such a name for the colored race, as Bunker Hill has been for 90 years to the white Yankees. Who shall revive the withered hopes that bloomed at the opening of Grant's campaign? All are tired of this damnable tragedy. Each hour is but sinking us deeper into bankruptcy and desolation. New York World. In glades they meet skull after skull where pine cones lay. The rusted gun, green shoes full of bones, the moldering coat and cuddled up skeleton, and scores of such. Some start as in dreams, and comrades lost bemoan. By the edge of these wilds, Stonewall had charged, but the year and the man were gone. George Templeton Strong. September 3rd, 1864. Glorious news this morning. Atlanta taken at last. It is coming at this political crisis, the greatest event of the war. George Templeton Strong. Monday, April 10th. Lee and his army have surrendered. Gloria in excelsis Deo. They can bother and perplex none but historians henceforth, forever. There is no such army anymore. God be praised. George Templeton Strong. I have been expecting this. I am stunned, as by a fearful personal calamity. Though I can see that this thing occurring just at this time may be overruled to our great good. We shall appreciate him at last. George Templeton Strong. By the end of the year, there were 700,000 men in the Union Army. Blacks who tried to sign up were turned away. Goodbye. This is life. <laughs> 